Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you very much for coming today. We're together on a mission which will encounter a host of unknowns. We're acutely conscious that in social care of all services, the old saying that if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you always got is true in spades. And that what you have often got is much less than you need or deserve. And that's the challenge. That's the challenge that we face to encourage what's new, what's right, and what makes a real difference. It's the first public sector skills academy in a sense, but it's driven by employers. And that's the important thing. From right across the private and the public sector, it'll work with training providers in further education, uh, in higher education, in the private and in the third sector and voluntary sector to transform the quality and quantity of qualified workers in adult social care. The skills agenda is really important in the social care sector and the academy is the catalyst for this. Already the academy has started to make progress with the delivery of the first ever national management trainee scheme dedicated to adult social care. The scheme aims to attract leaders of the future into the sector and raise awareness of how rewarding a career in care can be. There isn't um, an understanding or even a valuing of social care as compared to other professions. Um, and part of the reason why we're supporting this process is because we're very keen to attract into the social care workforce people who will start to sort of build the status and the profile and the, the value of the social care workforce. Our vision of the Academy is of a growing workforce attracted to the sector for the opportunity it holds. And we firmly believe that this can only be delivered by collaboration and co-production of our products and services. And they'll only be as good as the involvement from you. The Skills Academy is important because it, um, it, it's, it's looking at the needs of real people. And I think that from my experience of working with people who learn disabilities, that's quite often forgotten. What often happens is that people who learn disabilities are talked about, but they're not talked to, and they're not listened to. What I've heard is that people are saying that they need something like this, they, they can see this as a benchmark for excellence. It's very exciting, it's, it's got, there's an energy in the room that's, that's fabulous. I think the Skills Academy will bring live the issues around leadership. And, and management because I think that's a really important part of the social care workforce. There's so many people committed to doing some great work in this sector, um, some great employers out there, some great employer organisations out there uh, and some really good work being done but what we haven't done is kind of join that together and I think what the Skills Academy is going to bring is some kind of cohesion, some learning leadership and it's about driving forward that agenda rather than kind of having different bits and pieces all over the place. I think it'll, it has the potential for making a huge impact both in terms of raising the status of social care through initiatives like the Graduate Management Scheme and through their leadership and management activities. No matter whether you're working for a large provider or you're working for a small provider, you have a career, you give value to people. It's very important that you have the status to go with that.